Good morning, class. Today is Thursday, April the 30th, 2020. And today's video will count, cover both Thursday and Friday. Um, if you guys are having a hard time keeping up, then remember that Friday is a day that you can make up some work. It's also a great day to do your second day of PE, your second day of Bible, or, um, or work on your art and that type of thing. Um, today we're going to go through week 30, day four. I'll be going in and out of this video as because we're stuck inside with the rain today. Uh, day, week 30, day four, we have, here we go, we have lots of corrections to make. There are four on the top. In the book Charlotte's Web, a girl, a pig, and a spider be friends. All right, let's make sure we get this the right way. All right, Charlotte's Web is the name of a book, and they underlined it, so that's good, but what did they not do? They did not capitalize. Oops, that one's not going to work. They did not capitalize the name of the book. So Charlotte's should be capitalized and Web should be capitalized. Notice the apostrophe S belonging to the, that means the Web belongs to Charlotte. Right? Remember that's important this week, literature for today. A girl, a pig, and spider. We're missing something. Let's make that A, spider. B should be R. Friends. So we get four, one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. So that's all it for that one. Um, the comma does belong there um, in the book, Charlotte's Web. You could put a comma right here, but it's fine to make that all the part of the, um, all, but put the comma after Charlotte's Web. That's fine. The girl's name is Fern. The pig's name is Wilbur and the spider's name is Charlotte. All right. There are eight mistakes in here. Let's see if I can find this, find all of them without getting looking at my book. The girl's name, apostrophe S. Girl's name is Fern. Fern should be capitalized. It's her name. Ah, the needs to be lowercase. Pigs, apostrophe S. Name is Wilbur. His name needs to be capitalized. Comma, that belongs there. And, but it needs to be lowercase and. The spiders, apostrophe S, name is Charlotte. So basically all of our mistakes have to do with capitalization, apostrophe, and apostrophes. So only the first word of the sentence is capitalized. Um, and you do not capitalize after a comma and make sure your names are capitalized. And then um, also make sure that the, the, the names, the, um, the, Name belongs to the an uh, to the animal or the girl, and they need to be have an apostrophe there. All right, so there are eight mistakes in there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it. All right. Um, moving right along, our English today has to do with our fanboys. Let's remember our fanboys for an not and but an. For and nor, but for yet yeah, so. So we'll be working on page 92 of our English workbook, a coordinating conjunction. The coordinating conjunction is the name for your fanboys. A coordinating conjunction joins two words or groups of words. The words and, but, and or are coordinating conjunctions. Those are our and, but, and or. Oh, what did I just do? Silly, this is green. And, it is and. Okay, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. So the, the, um, the words for, or and, but, and or are the most um, common ones. So, and, but, or are the most common ones. Um, so you're going to be using those. And f first of all, you're going to be finding them in the first five questions. And then you're going to write, uh, choose from and, but, or, or for your last, for the last five um Remember, and is joining, is agreeing with two things, two things that agree, you're adding to it. Um, but means you're presenting one idea and then presenting another idea and you're comparing the two. And then or means you're choosing between the two. So that's what you need to work with that. So and, but, or or are the three that you will choose from. All right, moving right along. Next week we'll be doing reviewing adverbs and then we'll be moving on to diagramming. So that'll be fun. Um, moving right along, I told you to finish 
read chapter seven in Thesis and Ramonum, but there is no chapter seven. So, um, I told Finn he could write his own, but really you don't have to do that. Um, I, what I'd like for you to do this week is to just choose, um, take, choose a book and read for 20 minutes on your own. Um, Mary Ruth, I know that's not going to be too hard for you. We're limited to 20 minutes for, for until your schoolwork's done. All right. So read chapter seven. I mean, read, you're finished with Bezos and Ramona. Find a book on your own and read for 20 minutes. You can just set a little timer. And you can do it in two 10-minute time periods, or you can do it all 20 minutes all at once, which is up to you. So um, enjoy your time and pick your book wisely. And for history today, we are um, studying, we are starting on page um, 236 two, and 237 and 238, and then 239 is just a, um, a map. Um, Ava, we're talking about the time when a when the election of 1860 came about. Um, Abraham, there was the North and the South had two different. Uh, there were actually three different candidates who were primary candidates running for this. Remember the uh, the Whig party had split it split into two parties. The Whigs in the South were there were still a, a political party in the South, and um, the the Whigs in the North changed their name to the Republicans. Um, and then there were the Democrats in both the North and the South as well. Um, the Democrats were divided. The last time the Whigs party, the Whig party was divided, and that's what they actually divided the whole party. This time in the 1860, the Democrats were divided and they voted for different people to run for president. Um, the Democrats in the North voted for Stephen Douglas to run the, for president. And then most people, and then they, the Democrats in the South had another person who was running for president. Um, and then most of the people in the North liked the Republican Party. It was gaining popularity. And the candidate for the Northern Party was, um, was uh, um, Abraham Lincoln. So um, mainly the, the party was running between the two major candidates were Stephen Douglas and Abraham Lincoln. Um, he, Abraham Lincoln won enough votes and became the president. None of his votes came from the South. They all came from the North. Uh, when he was, when he became president, it was kind of the dividing line. And the South said, if he, that man becomes the president, then they would, um, uh, South Carolina said that they would leave the United States. And that's exactly what happened. So, um, they want it, to leave a country means on your own, by your own choice calls to, is called to secede, um, to secede from the country. So they, uh, the South, South Carolina wanted to secede from the United States, and six other states followed. And um, they said they left the United States because some of the free states in the North did not obey the Constitution. And the Constitution said that runaway slaves should be returned. It also said that slaves were property, but some of the Northern states said that slaves could be free when they went into um, some of the free states. So South Carolina said the Constitution did not allow this, did not allow for this. And they said that the North was breaking the Constitution, so they left. Um, so we will, and that uh, pretty much winds up our study before the Civil War. And next week we will get into what happens with the Civil War. Um, we will uh, um, be doing some projects, some ideas, some th different things like that um, on Flipgrid um, next week to come up with some things about the Civil War and and um, if you'll remember, we went to the battles for Chattanooga, um, and we talked about the Battle of the Club of the Cloud, and we'll uh, we'll touch on that as well in our studies of the Civil War. All right, moving right along to science. In science, we're talking about the layers of the soil. Now, um, these layers of soil are. Um, pretty, not hard, they're not hard to memorize, and there's a fun little thing that you can do if you would like to, and I will send you the recipe this weekend, that you, if you would like to make a layers of soil recipe. Um, the first layer is down at the very bottom, and it's layers of solid, uh, they're broken up a little bit, layers of solid rock, okay? And that's called your bedrock. 
All right, above that, the soil, the rock is broken up a little bit. All right. And this is kind of, it's really rocky soil, but it's called your subsoil. And then above that, um, as, and as the subsoil gets towards the top, there's fewer and fewer rocks. And then the top part is more of a dirt, dirt layer. And I didn't bring my green crayon, but there's grass and trees growing on top on top of that. This layer right here is called the topsoil. And there's certain things, characteristics of topsoil, subsoil, and bedrock that will you will learn. And um, you have a workbook page to do today, just one side. Um, the soil forms in layers most of the time, only the top soil is seen, but you've seen, you, can, you might say, but up on the mountain, we've seen lots of huge rocks. And that's because um, the topsoil has worn away over on the side of a mountain, or even it's just got so, it's so thin just because it's on top of the mountain, you can actually see the bedrock sticking out. Um, so sometimes the so topsoil is real thick and there's a thin subsoil and the, um, then the bedrock's not very far down. And sometimes you've got um, a real, um, a real thin topsoil and the bed, the subsoil is real thick. And then the bedrock is way down. And sometimes all three, I mean, these two top two are very thick. So it just depends on, on where it is. And um, that also determines what grows in that area. So um, the three words you need to learn today are topsoil, some soil, and bedrock. Um, and work on that workbook page. Um, we've also, let's see, and that should be the end of what you uh, what you do today. Next week we will go on to weathering, what weathers rock and makes it makes it into um, makes it into soil. You guys have a great day, a good weekend. Please text or call me with any questions or friends. Or questions or, or problems. <laughs> um, and look at your mama needs friends. <laughs> <laughs> look at your um, look at um, look at signing up for Flipgrid and sending a hello to all your friends. That's where the friends bar came in. Sending a, saying his hello to your classmates and friends. All right, thanks. Bye.